Welcome back, everybody, to another thrilling episode of the wonderful world of Aluna. Actually, not sure if it's going to be a thrilling episode at all or not, but it sounded good on paper. Not that I, like, write a script or anything. But yeah, let's see what we... Let's see what kind of trouble we can get in today. Um... I did not make myself a new crafting book, so I don't know how to craft any cool stuff. However, there's a few things that I need to find. One of which is papyrus, so I'm going to see if I can't find some of that around here. Um, not really even 100% sure. I guess just follow the coastline, right? Oh wait, that... Oh no. Ah, fell in water so I'm safe. Good. Might be some off in the distance there. Little garden did well. That's good. Nope, those are just some kind of weeds. Good old weeds. What is that? That weird white thing up there? I don't think I've ever seen those before. Huh, must be a, a flower from a coconut tree. Interesting, a cave. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess it doesn't hurt to take a look at the, uh, the landscape out here anyway. Just to see whatever what other stuff's around. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's definitely kind of weird. What's this, uh, white stuff going on over here? Harvest me up some of that. Is that that, uh... Oh. Huh. I think that's that coin, ba coin base. Yep, looks like it. Okay, well... Hmm, oh, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Vines, lots of vines. I'm gonna have to say no. Nope. Well, it looks like this might connect through underneath this little archway. So it's kind of like a big island there. It's not really an island because it's connected up here. And there's something making some weird noises. Maybe that's just my uh, swimming here. Interesting. But seemingly no papyrus. That's no good. I think that just all grass out over there too. Man, I need me papyrus to make paper. I'm 99% sure. Wow, what is that weird green blob out there? Leaves from some tree? I'm 99% sure I need to make a book to make a new crafting guide. 99 percent sure. Also, that is some weird flickering going on down there. Mmm... A cacti? I don't think I need cacti at all, though. I also need to find some trees that I can actually take down. These pine trees are just too tall. I can't reach the tops of them. A desert with snow. Alright. Okay. Ah! Get away from that thing. That giant s sandworm. That thing will straight up kill you. It'll try to. Anyway. Oh, I think it's another one right there. Good, good. So it turns out this isn't a very safe place to be. I mean, there's no papyrus there anyway, so... Yeah. I think I'm gonna head over to this side. To this little island. And, uh... Yeah, let's see about putting something here. 
Let's see. Well, actually, it'd be in my best interest to put like a lighthouse over on that pinnacle. Um, wow, I really don't have anything on me as far as building stuff goes. Well, that's fine. Um, I wish this didn't go up quite so high. Because this would make for a good little, you know, import, import, inlet, whatever. A nice little port to put a dock on. And have like some, some buildings and stuff. So this whole thing's going to have to be dug away. That's going to be a massive undertaking. I guess not the whole thing. I just need to put a pathway in. So let's have one torch. Well, let's put that one torch out and figure this out. Okay, so that is still one way above the water. So we need something. Along the lines of, oh, I don't know, like this. And then, I'll have to angle the outside edges there. What? What killed me? I see a head bobbing there in the water. A sandworm? Well, that's horrible. Fortunately, I, uh, Thought to set my home position. No, it's oh, it's one of those stupid guys. Who has already discovered that I'm over here? Wow. Well, that's no good. I wonder if I should close the door because he's probably standing right out there. Oh yeah, dirt roofs are a bad idea. You get all these vines growing in them. Where'd that thing go? Did he disappear? Is he just chilling? Yeah, he's still just chilling over there, waiting to kill me. Perfect, perfect. It's actually not perfect at all. Well. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't really do too much if I got some guy over there just waiting to kill me. I suppose I could knock down this though. It'd be so much faster with my axe. I do like how the flowers glow, that's kind of cool. Definitely not default there. But it's a nice little effect. Okay. Well, was that all there was? Just those two? Eh. Lame. Okay, so two things that I should mention, which I think I have mentioned in previous videos, but were mentioned in the comments. Um, this one actually I know I did mention, but I'll mention it again anyway. When you dig trees, you are supposed to replant trees. Obviously if you're clearing an area to build something you can't be replanting the trees where you you know harvested them but uh, the server admins would like you to replant trees and I totally understand why because otherwise there's not gonna be any wood for anybody to use so that totally makes sense to me. The other thing is they're actually are not protection mods which I think I had mentioned in the last episode that uh, I needed to look into that for this area there's not a protection there is a, um, a form topic on the Aluna website oh hi horsey that I can link to with more information on that um, yeah you just you need to be respectful of other people's stuff, which isn't really that difficult to do. And one of the nice things is with the the method of gaining interact on this server, you can't just 
come on as a random nobody and suddenly start building stuff. You actually have to visit their forums and like create an account and go to a certain topic and post stuff. So it's nice in that way that uh, you really shouldn't have to ever worry about people just breaking your stuff because they have theoretically all read the rules and know not to do that. Um, other thing I want to mention is you can do custom skins. Uh, that's also done via a page on the, the website slash... Well, I think it would be the website. Um, only reason I know that is because I actually had a chat message from the server, so an automated message, when I logged in saying, it looks like you don't have a custom skin yet. To get one, go to... And then it listed the the link to go to. So, those are available. Uh, you pretty much just need to go to that link and, I'm assuming, upload your skin. And that should be all you got to do. Oh, I didn't know they had coal lumps. Well, that's good. Throw that junk in there. Throw the bones in there. I don't need those. No bones about it. I don't need bones. I wonder if I can... Nope, no oil. However, somehow here I made sticks. Or twigs, which can then be converted to sticks. I wonder if I can do that with these other leaves. If I can, that's... Ah, beautiful. What's really nice is I'm getting twice as many sticks as I had leaves. And leaves are pretty useless, to my knowledge. Sticks are at least useful. Because I can make torches out of them. Um, so yeah, I think that covers the three things I wanted to mention. Uh, I'll mention it, even though I think I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. If you are recording a Let's Play series on this website, which I guess there's a few out there, and you happen to be watching my series, uh, just know that you can go to my website, NathanSalpat.com, and uh, visit the server page for the Aluna my, uh, server, and you can actually leave a link to your Let's Play, and I'll check it out, and if I like it, I will link it there as well, so you can potentially uh, get more views on your videos. I say potentially because there's no guarantee that just because I link a video on my website that anybody is going to watch it. But yeah, that's, that's about it for those updates. Let's get over here, grab my bones, this way up. Not forget that, that way goes up. And where's my shovel at? Yay for shovels. I have no oh, I have a super close, that's all. Okay, so we do something along the lines of that. And then go up. And then we'll have I wonder if I can make, like, sand slabs. Because that would work better. Nope. What about sand stairs? Nope. Alright, so I'll have to put a, like, a wooden stairway in or something. Which, honestly, not a bad idea. Uh, it would make sense to have a wooden pathway here. So maybe using wooden slabs and then blocks of wood. I can make a very shallow sloped incline. Which I think means I need to have each of these tiers to be. Yeah. And then the one row will actually have to be pulled out and replaced with the full blocks. That's okay. Alright, so that'll kind of work for that. Like I was saying, I'll have to angle the sides here so it looks a little more natural. It's 
especially being as how this is sand. It would be very unusual for sand to have a very steep edge. Because sand doesn't really sit like that. And take these out here. Maybe that one. Okay, so that'll kind of be our to be a dock sticking out here. And then pathway coming up and maybe we'll do <sighs> I don't really have anything good to do mock building with but maybe we'll have like a, you know a big storehouse or something over here for you know the ships and Storing whatever stuff it is they've brought in. And just do something like this. And this is all temporary materials. And build with, you know, some kind of stone or something for the lower levels. And I did a different system in that corner than this. Oh well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or is it the same? I don't even know. So we'll do something like that, and then maybe coming off the side here, there'll be like a little office space for, um, office stuff. You know, like the, the guy who runs this place, you know, he's got to store all of his, the logs of who owns what, and all that good stuff. So have something like that. And then maybe we'll put some little garden or something in over there. Um, have like a little open air market on this side. So, what do I have this? Oh, that's sand. I guess we'll use sand. I got a lot of that. So, like an open air market here. So kind of something a little deeper than that. With just like a, uh, you know, fabric roof on top. Some tables and stuff in here for people to be doing their selling at. Um, I'll probably pull it all down to like this level here. So like an open air market. Um, Maybe another lighthouse, depending on how well the lighthouses turn out. I might do a couple of those. Because what what's my main waterways coming in? I've got that little opening there, which goes out to like the ocean. And then these are little rivulets. I don't know how far that side goes. So I don't know if there would be ships ever sailing in from there. But yeah, like a, a lighthouse or lookout tower or whatever. And then um, maybe over on the edge here, we'd have like some people's houses. You know, just some, some smaller, almost huts, honestly. Like this or something. And just kind of going out there and just some smaller houses and then maybe down into like more of this wooded area here build like a, a larger cathedral mansion kind of like royalty you know fancier looking place there uh, and then obviously little pathways leading to the different houses and stuff um, this storage place I might make even bigger. I might extend it out much further this way. Oh, and I should probably have like a a hotel kind of thing. And put that over on the side here. Just a large. I don't even know necessarily call it a hotel, but you know these ships come in from sea and 
they won't, you know, if they stay the night, maybe the sailors want to, you know, spend the night on land rather than in their boat. Be nice to have some place to accommodate them. So, definitely throw in some kind of a house over there for people. Mm. Then, though, if I'm doing that, I really can't put bridges in. Because how would the ship sail under the bridge? I have to make it a really tall bridge. Which, honestly, that is pretty high above sea level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine nodes. I mean, obviously, in real life, a ship with sails and stuff wouldn't fit under it, but... I think I could probably make that look convincing enough that a ship would fit under it. Because it would be nice to have some way to get from here to there. Or I could build another dock on that side and just use boats to go back and forth and then just do the bridge over here. Maybe just do the bridge there because it's a little higher off the ground and they're both, I think, the same elevation and here they're not. Yeah. And then we'll just leave this with the big dock and then I'll put a small dock someplace near where that garden is. Uh, and we'll have to cut a better pathway going up because right now that's kind of a icky method to use but yes that is some planning and uh, we'll get into some more of the building in the next episode so thanks for watching guys and um yeah do do you do what you do be like this bear and just chill on the water I think that's that's kind of cool just walking on the water sitting on the water be like that bear and just live your life and don't worry about other people don't worry about what other people think about you